In today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you a short practice, but we're going to start with the warm-up and then we have three Pilates exercises that will really help you. It's easy, you'll be able to manage. Now, why are you feeling the back pain? Probably it's due to you sitting too long or you have a faulty push. Now, don't worry, I've been teaching for 20 years Pilates back work and I've met many people with the same problem as you. So for today's class, it's for people who have no neck pain but you're able to execute these movements. We do not need any props today, so let's begin with the warm up. So, we're going to start with the hands in this position. So, from here, we're going to start with the tabletop position. So, you want your palms to be shoulder width apart, your knees hip distance apart. So, you can see from this alignment here, your shoulders over your wrist and your hips over your knees. Do not tuck your toes, relax your toes. If there's any wrist pain, you can go ahead to clench your face and press your thumb down like this. Do not sink down like this. You want to draw your belly towards your spine and lengthen your spine. So, not gazing forward. You are gazing down towards your thumbs, but you're not dropping your head. So, this is your neutral position. Soften your elbows. All right, take your hyperextended elbows. Let's begin right now. So, inhale here. Now, exhale from pursed lips. One more time. Inhale through your nostril. And exhale from your mouth. And now we're going to begin with the spinal warm up. Inhale. As we exhale, we're going to round your mid back, chin towards the throat, tail between your knees. Inhale into your mid back. As we exhale, spine extension, tail up, chest shining forward, gaze far but not looking up. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, we go back into our long C curve spinal flexion. Inhale into our mid back. As we exhale, spine extension, tail up, chest shining forward, shoulders away from your ears, just gazing far. Take a deep breath. As we exhale, last time, we're going to our long C curve, opening up the back. Take a deep breath as we exhale. Lengthening the spine in spinal extension. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And back to neutral. Now slowly look over your right shoulder. Now without moving the hips, you can keep the pelvis very quiet. We're going to contract the right rib cage. Gaze at our right foot. Just opening up the left side of the body. Lateral flexion, breathing. Inhale, center. Exhale, look over to the left shoulder. Now start contracting the left rib cage. Now do not dig the belly down, belly drawn to your spine. Maybe you can look at your left foot without moving the hips, okay? Do not cheat. Stay center, back to center. Last time, slowly look over to the right shoulder. Contract the right rib cage. And sometimes you find one side is easier, okay? It's quite normal that we have some imbalance. And back to center, inhale, exhale to the other side, belly drawn to your spine, do not sink your belly down, open up the right side, back to center, now bring the knees together, relax your toes, rounding your back, slowly shift the weight back, and just relax in our shell stretch, which is similar to the child's pose. So elbows flex. And my palms facing up beside my ankles. You can gently turn the head to one side. Center inhale. Exhale to the other side. Back to center. Take a deep breath. And as we exhale slowly, roll up. And come back to the neutral position, gazing far. Gently just grab hold of our elbows. We're not squeezing the shoulder blades. Okay, we do not want to arch our back. Now from here, slowly lift the chest up. Stretching the neck, face up, take a deep breath. So notice that I'm not dropping my head back. Okay, I'm just stretching my neck and face up and back to neutral and relax. Let's continue with the second movement, which is the hundreds. We're going to strengthen our abdominal muscles, our core muscles, and slowly lie down the mat. So in this position, I'm going to show you the modified version and also the full version, alright? 
So if you have neck pain, you're going to place your hands down beside your hips and you're going to keep your head down throughout the exercise to protect your neck and shoulders. Those who are comfortable can follow me okay, in the full version. So our hands, okay, your thumbs back with your low, fingers back of your eyes and gently float your elbows off the floor, shoulders away from the ears. So my pelvis neutral right now, I'm going to slowly draw my right knee up and my left knee up. Low back kissing the mat, knees and feet together. All right, now when you're ready, inhale, nod your head, flex your neck, flex your abs. So you gaze around the inner thigh, chin not jamming towards the throat. You can keep the knees flexed like this, not a problem. Or you can reach up, extending your knees. Make sure there's no stress in your lower back. Those of you who have been practicing for a while, maybe you can lower down slightly when you go too low. So one hand beside, let's start with the first one with one hand supporting. So from here, let's start with five cycles here like this. And we go, inhale two, three, four, five. Exit two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exit two, three, four. 20, inhale two, three, four, five. Exit two, three, four. 30, inhale two, three, four, five. Exit two, three, four. 40, inhale two, three, four, five. Exit two, three, four. 50, hands behind, breathing. Bend the knees first. So you have the option to keep the knees bent. If it goes to your lower back, okay, make sure your lower back is kissing the mat. Okay, if comfortable, we're gonna shift, we're gonna switch the hands or head down, or straighten the knees or lower down. And the last five cycles. And we go. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exit two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exit two, three, four. Twenty. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exit two, three, four. Thirty. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exit two, three, four. Forty. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exit two, three, four. Fifty. Bend the knees. Inhale. As we exhale, gently release the neck and head down. Okay. I'm gonna join the rest. Palms down beside the hips. Separate the knees and the feet. Lower one foot down, lower the other foot down, straighten the knees and stretch out, stretch, stretch, stretch. And relax the hips, relax the shoulders. So the hundreds very important, okay, we are working on the breathing. So common mistakes that people might be moving the hands in a circle, okay, you don't want to palm downwards. Okay, let's continue with the third moves, okay. So we're going to go into the bridge, which is really good to uh, work on the spinal mobilization and also strengthening the lower body okay and also if you're sitting too long okay then we want to stretch out our hip flexor so knees and feet hip distance apart palms beside our hips so your toes not pointing out imagine as a yoga block between your knees so in neutral position as we exhale we're going to slowly round our lower back so we're moving the the pelvis like this and then from here we're gonna peel the spine off the mat one vertebra at a time so notice that I'm not arching my back just gonna go the straight line here knees two shoulders one straight line hands on the buttocks so let's start with the right leg so hands supporting to remind ourselves not to sink down and inhale right knee up exhale extend inhale flex exhale point inhale bend exhale down notice my right buttock is not sinking into my right palm inhale left knee up exhale extend inhale flex exhale point inhale bend exhale lower down three two one so you can continue with the palms on your buttock by been practicing for a while you can have your palms down make sure you do not sink the hips inhale right foot up exhale extend Inhale, flex, exhale, point, inhale, bend, exhale, lower down. With control, no sinking. Left side, inhale, left knee up, exhale, extend, inhale, flex, exhale, point, inhale, bend, exhale, control down. Three, two, one. So everyone, palms down on the mat. Okay, make sure your knees are not turned out, your feet turn out. Inhale, as we exhale, release the spine down. Four, three two relax the lower back get a nice stretch one so relax the buttock and don't forget to relax the hip flexor back to neutral pelvic placement okay counter stretch we want to counter stretch after that practice knees towards the chest gently hug the legs 
gently roll the head sideways, releasing any tension in the neck or shoulders. Back to center and slowly walk the pelvis clockwise, anti clockwise, massage the back. Okay, and from here we're gonna slowly roll to the side. For the moment, okay, we're gonna sit on our heels like this. Okay, you're not comfortable, you can always sit on the chair. So let's shift the hips to the right side like this. Okay, we're gonna place the hands here. All right, and we're gonna bring the right arm up. Keep your shoulders down so you can see that we are already in a lateral C curve. Okay, this nice curve here. Do not straighten the elbows. Now take a deep breath here as we exhale, slowly stretch to the side and breathe into the side of the body, okay, creating more space on the right side of the body. And so stretching your hips, stretching your back, breathing, 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 center. Okay, slowly come back to center. Okay, so this is the modified mermaid position, okay, mermaid practice. So we're going to shift to your left side, okay, stretching your hips, okay, stretching your waist, your palms here, you're going to lift up your left hand, shoulders away from your ears, okay, do not, okay, fully extend the elbows, okay, soften the elbows. Now take a deep breath here as you exhale, gently stretch to the right side, creating this nice curve here and breathe into your left hip. So releasing all tension. So normally, if you are right-handed, you'll find the right back tighter or right hip tighter, okay? So if you want to stretch both sides, or you can hold it longer on that side that is tighter. Breathing. Okay, so we come back to center. Okay, and from here, okay, we're gonna slowly sit down on the mat. Okay, let's make a diamond like this, soul to soul. Hands on our knees and shin, gently round the back, glide the hands forward, release the hands, relax the neck and shoulders, and breathe deeply into the lower back. Breathing. Breathing. Inhale, exhale, slowly crawl up. Now, I chose these exercises because it works on mobility, okay, spine mobility, so you're going to want any compression in the low back and also strengthening. For those of you who need more help from me, okay, so I can give you feedback okay, in the online program. You can kind of explore this program here. You can take a look. And if there's any mindful movement practices that you'd like me to share, do leave a comment. And for now, let's watch this video here and practice together. Have a great week and I'll see you soon.